the more common questions we get asked in the shop is about bait presentation. Um, now there's lots of tools in the market available nowadays that we use to help this. Um, so today I thought I'd show you a few of the ones that I use. Um, we're going to start with good old Stompo baiting needles. I find the, the red point 20 centimetre the most universal. We're going to start with humble ragworm and a size 4 owner print. My top tip with ragworm um, is to actually head and tail them. So chop the head part off, chop the tail part off, and then you've got a, a length of worm you're happy working with. A couple of reasons for that. It, it will make it easier to, to thread up the hook, uh, but also you get a lot of extra scent and juice leakage on it. Take your ragworm in, finger and thumb like that, pass the orange point all the way through the worm until the worm is entirely on the needle. Take the hook, put it in the hollow end of the needle, hold the line nice and tight, and just slide it up onto the needle, up onto the lighter. That's so. Now you can either leave it like that, or if you're fishing for pouting, whiting, things like that, you can tip it off with a small little bit of fish. That's so. Perfect bit of boat presentation. Black lug can be a great bait this time of year. Well, any time of year, actually. Um, but if you can only get the frozen stuff, um, it can often be quite soft. Um, and if you're using smallish hooks like we're, we're demonstrating with here, it can often sag down and hang down and mask the point of the hook. Um, and that's not something we want. So again, what I'm doing here, I've threaded on a little bit of black. You can use the needle if you like, um, but it's not wriggling around and moving like a ragworm, so you don't have to. Threaded the one point of the Yuki baiting tool up through the black, and then just gonna again just whip it up and down. Like so. Snap it off, slide the needle out. There you go. Now that'll hold a lot better than, than just a sort of a, a saggy soft bit of black lug. If you are using fish to tip off with, um, I very much believe in using sort of smaller squares rather than long slices, as it were. Um, I don't think a long, huge, dangly bit off the bottom of your hook is, is, is the way forward. Um, and I prefer a square. I prefer the theory that you know fish can have one little nibble and, and it's got the hook straight away. Um, so I generally cut the mackerel in sort of lengths like that. Um, it can be very fat, very thick bit of fish, so I actually cut a lot of the flesh off the back as well, like so. And then just chop it into small square pieces. Now you'll notice when we, let's just tip off that bit of black I just did. And we just hook straight through the middle of the square. Now because we've got rid of that flesh, the, the hook point is, is, is proud and showing, and any little fish nibbling that is going to get on the hook. The beauty of the Yuki baiting tool especially is, is you can use um, very soft baits, baits that you wouldn't normally be able to, to hold onto a hook. Um, one of my favourites is, is squid guts, so literally the, the dangly scutty bits outside the main part that most people just chuck away. There's a lot of smell and scent and goo and a lot of fish attractiveness in that, believe it or not. Glad I'm not fish. Um, with the soft baits like this, put them onto your Yuki baiting tool first, like so. Simply lay your hook alongside, like so. So we're not threading it through the wings or anything like that, just laying it alongside. And then we're just going to start carefully elasticating onto the so, Round and round, up down, a couple times. Snap it off. Job done. Again, just slide that out. And that will hold on throughout the cast and whilst it's in the water. 